Hey, I'm Mindy, and I just wanted to share a little bit about my experience with semicircular canal dehiscence. Um, it started about six years ago when my when I was pregnant with my fourth child, and um, I first noticed it by having like a, a swooshing sound in my ear that went along with my heartbeat, so a, a pulsatile tinnitus, and I... Um, went to several doctors and finally was referred to a surgeon, a specialist, ENT specialist, who um, did some tests and, and deciphered that it was in fact semicircular canal dehiscence. So what that is, what that means is your semicircular canal in your inner ear has a hole in it. And so the sound, the sounds that you hear from yourself especially, are reverberating into your brain and just really it really hurts um, so footsteps you hear sometimes like you know your neck turning creaking um, chewing talking everything is just painful and oh, sorry I'm seeing what I'm doing I don't have my glasses on right now because I actually just got surgery for this condition and if I wear my glasses, then I cannot see um, close up. And I have poor vision anyway, so I can't really see what I'm doing. But um, So yeah, that's just a really short little tidbit. But um, obviously, if you're having issues where you are hearing yourself really loud in your head, or if you are, um, sounds just feel like they're hurting you, like it's someone banging on your brain every time uh, you hear a sound, that is a good indication that you may have semicircular canal dehiscence. Um, but there's a lot of different types of things that it could be. So of course, talk to your doctor about it. Um, I'm not a professional. I just know what I have been through and my experience. So I just wanted to share that with you. Um, it really helped me to have a diagnosis to actually know what it was so I could start researching what different things, what options there were. Um, it still took me about five years to be brave enough to finally get the surgery done, which will help correct it. Um, but it's not a fun surgery also. It's, um, there's two different types of surgeries currently that I've, that I know about that, um, the first one is where they drill into the bone, the, the transmastoid, I guess. They go through the mastoid bone, and then they um, fill in the semicircular canal completely. And what happens when you do that is you get dizzy because those bones, those inner ear bones, help with balance. So right now I am four days post-op for getting this surgery through the transmast transmastoid surgery through or to fix the semicircular canal, and I am really dizzy. As you can see, I'm in bed. I've been using my walker. I don't know if I can turn this around. Nope. So there's my walker that I've been using. Um, I'm 38, so I feel a little bit like a grandma uh, walking around with this thing. But anyway, it gets worse when I first get up and, and stuff like that. But um, it's supposed to go away. After a couple of weeks, I should be able to my brain will adjust to the change. So I also woke up from the surgery. Um, my ear feels, it's, it's my right ear that I just had done. And it feels like it's plugged, of course, because it is. But there's also fluid and stuff in there that is, so it almost sounds like you've got water in your ear for a while. And that should go away. Um, my ear also is completely numb because they had to actually slice behind the ear lobe or behind the ear, kind of fold it forward and then drill the hole that goes in and corrects the, um, the hole in your ear, in your semicircular canal. So it just feels like dead flesh and it's, that's really annoying to me. Um, anyway, I just wanted to share a little bit about my story. Um, and if you think that you may have this, go talk to your doctor. Um, I would talk to a few different doctors, especially a, an ENT specialist. 
who is familiar with this condition, as it is a very rare condition, I, am, I have been told. Um, the nurses that I was with uh, that were taking care of me, it was everyone's first time ever um, helping somebody with this condition uh, as far as the nurses go. But the doctor that I saw, Eric Slattery, um, in uh, here in Salt Lake City Valley in, in Utah, um, he's performed several, you know, I can't remember how many he said, but he's done a lot of surgeries like this. And so he was really good, really well informed. Um, he made sure that he did plenty of testing on me first to make sure that, that I did in fact have this condition. Um, anyway, yeah, if you have comments or questions, just ask in the little box below. And I'll probably leave a link to Dr. Slattery's office because he was awesome. Um, I think that's about all I have. Anyway, so hope it helps somebody. Bye.